I'm sure many of you already know what a roulade is, but for those who don't, I want you to Google it, R-O-U-L-A-D-E. It's uh, basically a chicken that's rolled up and then it's either pan seared or baked or, uh, you know, braised. I've taken about 500 grams of uh, breast boneless fillet pieces and I've sliced them into three portions. So what I've done is, uh, if you take a look, that's the smooth side of the chicken breast and that's not the very smooth side. So I took a mallet and I beat the not very smooth side into thinner slices. So it's uh, cooked more evenly and um, faster. This is what a mallet looks like. So I beat the uneven side. I'm not going to touch the smooth side because you don't want your chicken to look uh, bruised. I wanted a very garlicky chicken today so I've generously seasoned this with uh, garlic powder and uh, salt and black pepper both sides guys i've also added some olive oil and i've rubbed it all over and now i'm going to prepare for the filling that goes inside this roulade so just to give you a heads up i'm using a walnut and i think i'm going to use a sun-dried tomato filling in this i've taken about a cup of walnuts and i'm going to dry roast it once it's done i'm going to uh, break it up into smaller pieces so that it fits easily inside the chicken when i roll that up The next step is to roll this chicken up with the filling and what I want you to do is the smooth side should be this way and the rainy side should be face up. Normally I use plain sun-dried tomatoes but I really like this uh, sun-dried tomato pesto. It's quite yummy so I'm going to use that here. Take a spoonful of sun-dried tomato pesto and then you pour it on the chicken breast and you take just about a handful of walnuts and leave it up to there. Don't bring it up to here because we have to roll it, remember. Just right there. I'm going to try and show this to you with one hand since I am the director of photography here. This is what it should look like. get it it's not that difficult is it so i packed and rolled the chicken just like that and the next step is i'm going to take this uh, thread and tie up the chicken so it doesn't open up while i'm sorting it or, or pants searing it or braising it so this is what it looks like after i use the thread i haven't tied it too tightly nor is it too loose i'm going to dip this into some flour and then i'm going to pan sear it for four or five minutes each side in olive oil and butter. We're not going to let the butter burn. Place these five minutes each side. I have not turned the side as yet because it's cooking very beautifully. It's been four minutes. Another minute and I'll turn it. The flour and the butter are smelling really good. It's such an amazing combination, flour and butter. So biscuity. I've taken it out of the pan and when it cools down, I'm just going to take the thread off. Um, in the same pan, I've added a wee bit of uh, olive oil and a lot of garlic chips. These are at least uh, six cloves sliced. At this point, I would have preferably used fresh parsley. I don't have it. Please get it, guys, for this recipe. Um, so because I don't have that, I've used uh, red chili powder flakes. And uh, this, which I've recently fallen in love with. Basically, if you don't have parsley, fresh parsley, you can use a herb that you have lying in the pantry so either you use this or you use these two i've added some mushrooms i'm going to saute that next up is some spinach leaves okay, sorry about that very quickly before the spinach i'm going to add the chicken stock and water to make a little broth out of this and then i'll add the spinach a little bit of red grape vinegar maybe a teaspoon and then some cream and if you're dieting, then omit the cream, guys. 
Three tablespoons of cream has completely changed the dynamics of the sauce. It's so yummy, guys. I want you to make the sauce for everything from now on. I've added some spinach to the mix. I've also added some stems. I like that. Give it a good stir and then move on to the next step. I added a quarter cup of milk to um, kind of loosen the consistency. I cut the thread of this roulade and I cut this into a little more than a half an inch um, pieces. Can you tell? So my son is very hungry. What do you think? It's good. It's just good? Yeah, it's really good. It's really it's like good, he says. Yeah, it looks like a rolled up sushi, doesn't it? Hi, Mikhail. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm doing is spooning over the sauce. And I'm going to just leave it for now. Just before serving dinner, I'm going to heat it on low fire. Cover it and heat it. And uh, I want to know what you guys think of this.